So we're currently in Fitzrovia in Westminster. We're going to have a little look at something that you might find interesting. Cameraman, come to me, please. Before we look at what this place is, I want you to just have a little look inside because it's sort of sold as an interesting sort of hipster establishment with some very interesting dishes. There we go. Now you can see it's it's quite flash inside, and it's, I mean, in some way, it's quite endearing. But the reason we're here is because there's a big push at the minute for people to eat bugs. And this place has been around for quite a while, before the recent push for bugs. And uh, should we say, I suppose it's ahead of the curve when it comes to bug meals. So if we was to look at this menu, for instance, now it's got some interesting dishes on it, such as uh, spicy crocodile wrapped in vine leaves. Um, but we also have here uh, called summer night pan fried crickets in something else uh, that's 12 quid for a starter. I mean, some of these others look interesting, you know, uh, crispy zebra jerky, uh, if you're into that sort of thing. But um, down here, obviously, lots of crocodile and things like that, but that's not really what interests us. I've tried crocodile, I've tried kangaroo, there's kangaroo skewers in here and all sorts. But down here on the sides, because I'm missing out load of them here, is you've got love bug salad, right? <laughs> Now this is a mixed green salad with added wildlife. So now, usually when you check out something on a food, uh, when you buy something, it's got the details, you know, all the details, so you know what it is. This is um, added wildlife. And then down here, we've got in the dessert <laughs> in the dessert section, um, crunchy caramel mealworms. Now, maybe I'm being a bit stuck up, but how could I be stuck up when the prices of this stuff is astronomical? Uh, maybe I'm too common to be eating worms, I don't know. Uh, but to, to, to highlight this, um, just how interesting the radical left or the media, shall we say, find this, they've got some, um, some reviews here <laughs> from, look, the well factor is omnipresent. That's from Time Out and the world. The food is a round-the-world tour of Exotica. The cooking is accomplished and serving is clued up. That's from AA Guide. Archipelago is actually a serious restaurant with an extremely competent chef. That's from Square Meal. And this one's from The Times. Rated the top restaurant in London and the South East for unusual and different dining. So that throws every other restaurant in their eyes out the window so but once again it comes down to opinion doesn't it it's a bit like art you know so um let's have a little stand back and look at this Jordan. because it's actually a, a lovely building where it is found on cleveland street w1 and how long will it be before restaurants like that start popping up everywhere? Because we, we see in the adverts everywhere, aren't we, of um, bug burgers and things like that. Well, these people are well ahead. They're selling um, locusts as first-class dishes, apparently. <laughs> 